What's up, family? Professor T is back with some more searching for new music from Undiscovered Musicians. And today, we're checking out Crazy What's Happening. So it's either crazy or it might be pronounced different. I'm guessing it's crazy and just stylized. It's spelled C-R-Z-Y-Y. -Y. And the bio of this group is not in English, but for the words that I could see and do what they were, this is uh, a EDM-influenced and uh, pop influenced uh group and they're from france and i think and i believe the names of the two people in it is claire and ugo so we're about to check this out and we're gonna see what we think about it so without further ado let's check out crazy what's happening in what's happening in <laughs> I have stupid American syndrome. Like, I don't know if it's Spanish, I can read it sometimes. I can understand, like, every f third or fourth word that the person is saying and be able to pull out maybe the generalization of what they're talking about. But French and, like, the European language, I have no idea. A pop song right here. I like it. Something I thought was interesting about this is that even though evidently the group is from France, the, the lyrics are definitely in English. The reason why it's so important, as I say, for the bio for me also is because. With stuff like the style of the music and the language that the people that make it probably speak, it makes a huge difference in like how I um, how I comprehend what it is that they're doing. People pick up people that have the instruments plugged in in the song, but like, if you guys listen to this, like, you guys, like, I mean, that sound that, that might be an acoustic guitar that they're using, but it's like a heavily, like, altered acoustic guitar sound. <laughs> okay, now there goes acoustic guitar. See, I can see them doing it for this part. I think this song sounds great though. I mean, she's a really good performer. This sounds amazing. Yeah, this song is great, guys. Like the, the beat, vocal performance of it is great. Very good mix, like you can tell this was like professionally done, there's tons of effort put into it, it sounds great. I like the music video too. It always have more than 1,000 views now, I'm going to address that in a minute. But it did break the rules at the time that uh, this was being uploaded. You guys hear that distorted kick? You hear that kick sound right there? That's a straight trap EDM kick sound right there. I like this. These guys do that hot stuff. There's the credits right there. Let me pause this so you can see the credits for a second. All right, all them people right there. Shout out to all of them people. Uh, pause the screen if you want to see all the credits. All right, back to me. Very nice work, guys. So for uh, my comments on the song. So first, let me address how I mentioned this to break the rules because it's more than a thousand views. At the time that I um, searched for this video, it was less than 1,000. But right now, it's above 1,000. It has a, uh, probably about 2,500 views right now as I'm recording it. But that's fine because it's still a group that has a pretty small following overall. So I definitely um, will still uh, support that. 
And for uh, what I liked about this song, that song, I like the production of it. I think that like the mix, the uh, instrumental, all that sounded absolutely amazing. Like it was great. I think that the singer, she did an amazing job with the vocal performance. Everything was very well done. And it's like I uh, talked about too with the vocal performance with singers. There's a lot of people that are a great singer, but they're not a very good vocal performer. They're uninteresting to listen to on a song. It just doesn't translate. The reason why is because when you're in the song doing this, your voice is one of the instruments of the song. And you have to uh, kind of keep that in mind when you're uh, singing on it. And she definitely did a good job of that. Like she, she made everything that she does go with the song. It sounded really great. And uh, for the production of it, I thought this was a really good production. You could hear like an EDM influence. That definitely came through. Um... The kicks in there, like I said, it's got that distorted low kick sound that's popular now. Um, you can say what you want to say about those. I remember if you guys check out the songwriting uh, workshop videos, me and Anthony had an exchange about that. I don't think I've actually made it to the final cut. That It might be in like one of the upcoming ones, depending on when you guys uh, might discover this video. We, have a, we, we had a back and forth about that, about how they, they use a distorted kick sound. He's a mastering engineer, so he hates it. Me, I'm indifferent to it. My thing is, uh, for those distorted kick sounds, I think it's cool and I get the point of it. And I'm like, it's, it's another it's another sound, another tool that you can use. But um, I liked it. And then for the rest of the production of the song, I, I like how it's like a, it started like a very simple kind of an acoustic guitar sound. And it kind of built up and added all the like synth and the EDM sounds to it. So that's what I liked about it. Any critiques? This one is one you guys get off the hook. Because I couldn't really think of anything that could be improved upon in this song that would be a, a good teaching uh, tool for everybody that might watch this. I couldn't really think of anything. So you guys are off the hook with critiques. It's 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 uh, pretty darn good. Well, to the point that I don't have anything that's clear and obvious to point out. <laughs> so with that being said, let's take it to the Professor T Billboard Charts. And we're going to see where I'm going to put this one under rankings. What is happening? Pretty catchy song, too. So this one here, this is a pop song. I pretty much know where I'm going to put this one at. So this one is going to be moving up. Moving on up to the east side. I'm moving it on up, guys. So this is the spot that I've decided for. I'm going to leave it at a number 21 on the Professor T Billboard chart for this week. As I always say, the Billboard chart is not a reflection on the quality of the song. It's a reflection on my personal enjoyment while listening to it and the popularity I think it will have recommending these songs to others later on this year. At 21, where does that put it? It's right below Jai Rizzo, Recluse, the very ambitious uh, progressive rock song that I reviewed. And then it's right above King Geo, Pillar of Fire, which was another kind of a pop experimental pop song i guess is what i would call that kind of lane of music so i enjoyed all three of these songs and that's a pretty good ranking to uh be up there just outside the top 20 so great job to uh crazy you guys did an amazing job on this song and i will definitely be uh keeping an eye out for you guys and uh you guys go and check in i definitely have a like comment and subscribe on you guys' this video so with all that being said, to Crazy, to all you guys watching at home, love what you do. I enjoyed listening to this song, and I hope all of you did too. And I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you, and I will see you in the next review. Man, this jacket is making me look fat. I'm not that big.